to Bato de la Rosa, who st stuck it out to me till the very end. Sir, I salute you, sir. To the others, my dear friends, my heart is broken. Proud to have led a Senate that's been resolute in protecting our institution, our democracy, and our people. Colleagues, both from the majority and the minority, whose wisdom and cooperation helps to shape the identity of the Senate for this post-pandemic age. But I want to thank my leadership team and those who stayed beside me till the very end. Ma'am Lauren, my Senate President Pro Tem, thank you very much for your loyalty and wisdom. I know many times temptations have been called to you but you've, stayed, you've been steadfast. Marami salamat, ma'am. True test of character. Marami salamat. To my dear majority floor leader, pare, thank you for your hard work and dedication. Isa, isa ka sa pinakamasipag nating majority floor leader. Pare, thank you for your friendship till the very end. I love you. You know that. Mahal kita. I will always cherish your support. To Sunny, possibly the best finance chair this institution has ever had. I thank you, sir. I thank you. You know, your father was like a father to me. And I'm happy to call you my brother, sir. Senator JV, what can I say? Your loyalty, your friendship and hard work, which you help steer Many important measures in this institution. Sir, I'm proud to call you my friend. Nancy. Who's been loyal from day one as a friend. Never waving. Thank you, my dear. I love you dearly and your family. Sherwin, my compadre. Pare, marami salamat, pare. You are a good friend and compadre. I'm proud that you're the ninong of my son. To Bato de la Rosa, who st stuck it out to me till the very end. Sir, I salute you, sir. To the others, my dear friends, my heart is broken. I am proud to have led a Senate that's been resolute in protecting our institution, our democracy, and our people. Being an independent leader, I gave way for each member of the Senate also to be independent and to come to decisions through collaboration rather than direction. I have never dictated my position on any of you. You know that. I've always supported your independence which is probably why I faced my demise today. I failed to follow instructions from the powers that be. Simple as that. I've listened to all my colleagues throughout my Senate presidency. Again, I listen to them today. As we head into a new period for the Senate, I fought the good fight. If I've ruffled some feathers in doing so, then so be it. Hindi ko Tinanggap ang pagiging Pangulo ng Senado para lang hayaan na bumagsak ito. Today, I offer my resignation as Senate President of the Republic of the Philippines. And upon stepping down, I vow to serve as an independent member of the Senate. My allegiance as ever belonging only to the Filipino people. I leave with my held, head held high knowing that I did what is right for the Senate and for the nation. I wish our new leadership the very best, and I pray that they will be steadfast in upholding the independence of this beloved institution. I will remain vigilant to make sure that the traditions and the rules of the Senate will remain steadfast. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang Senado, mabuhay ang Republika ng Pilipinas. Thank you very much, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri.
for your heartfelt speech. We are grateful for your service to the institution. Thank you for your service to the nation. Thank you for a job well done, Senate President Juan Miguel Biri. Session is suspended. The Majority Leader, Senator Joel Villanueva, is recognized. Thank you, Madam President. Let me start by saying, Madam President, na kulang po ang salita upang ipaabot ang taus-puso nating pasasalamat sa ating uh, inspirational leader, ating naging Senate President, Senate President Migs Subiri. Maraming salamat, SP Migs. Maraming salamat. Madam President, ano man po ang ating political na paniniwala, saan man po tayong grupo nakabilang o napapabilang sa bandang huli, isa lang po ang ating pinipili, ang ating minamahal na Pilipinas. Being a, being part of the leadership, Madam President, carries a cost, requiring uh, leaders to be ready to consistently make sacrifices, prioritizing the interest of their organization, institution, or even their country above their own self-interest. And so today, Madam President, I tender my resignation because the greater cause outweighs my personal interest. Maraming salamat po, Madam President. Thank you very much, our Majority Leader, Senator Joel Villanueva. We thank you for your service to the institution and your service to the nation. Thank you. Madam President, thank you. Madam President, uh, may I move that we recognize Senator Nancy Binay? Senator Nancy Binay is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Um, I would just like to manifest that I'm also resigning as chairperson of the Committee on Accounts and Tourism and Ethics. Thank you, Madam President. We take note of the manifestation of Senator Nancy Binay. Thank Madam you. Pre we thank you for your dedication to duty as well. Madam President, Senator Sani Angara is also seeking the floor. I move that he be recognized. We recognize Senator Sunny Angara, Chairman of the Committee on Thank Finance. Thank you to the beauteous uh, presiding officer, um, Majority Leader. Uh, I'd like to pay tribute to our outgoing Senate President, our outgoing Majority Leader, our outgoing Senate President Pro Temp, and the leadership team who was a very productive. I think there's uh, no reason, of course, uh, emotions may dictate that uh, they bow their heads, but there's no reason to bow their heads. Uh, I think uh, uh, when history is all, when all is said and done, when history is written, wala silang uh, ikakahiya. Uh, they stood on the right side, on the right side of history. I think uh, when this institution was under threat, pinaglaban ni Senator, Senate President uh, Zubiri ang ating institusyon, pinaglaban niya ang ating taumbayan. Uh, Doon sa mga gustong solohin ang kapangyarihan. Uh, to our majority leader, thank you for being here day in, day out, uh, late, along with uh, Senator JV's team, to you. Uh, to, it's a very productive team, so I just want to thank. But at the same time, I'd like to also tender my resignation as the chairperson of the Committee on Finance, the chairperson of the Committee on Youth, and the chairperson of the Subcommittee on Constitutional Amendments in order to uh, give the new leadership a free hand to uh, choose uh, who they wish to fill, fill up these positions. And uh, I thank our colleagues for the chance to serve them uh, for the last five years as the chairperson of the Committee on Finance. I think we achieved real progress together. And I think, if, uh, if at all, I was able to empower you to fulfill or to uh, realize your advocacies, I think. Yun, yun ang uh, masasabi po natin. And I wish the incoming chairperson, Senator Grace Poe, is a great senator, a great, very hardworking, uh, the best um, uh, on the job. Uh, she's definitely up to it. And, uh, and of course, to the new leadership, uh, Senate President Chi Escudero, I wish you and your team the best, sir. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Paul. We would like to thank Senator Sani Angara for his brilliance, his fairness, his dedication to duty as chairman of the Senate Committee on Finance, a post I held before him. Uh, thank you so much, Senator Sani. We appreciate the work you've done. Madam President, Majority Senator Leader. JV, here is ito. Our uh, 
Deputy Majority Leader is seeking the floor. I move that he be recognized, Madam President. Our Thank Deputy you. Majority Leader, Senator J.D. Ejercito, is recognized. Thank you, Ms. Madam President. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank the Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri for the con trust and confidence. Majority Leader Joel Villarreal, of course, Madam President. The Senate leadership for entrusting me to become the Deputy Majority Leader for the past two years. And I all I can say is that I'm very proud to be part of this team under the leadership of uh, President Ming Subiri. One thing is for sure, this team is principled, hardworking, and this team fought for the institution. And uh, those countless um, uh, nights, evenings, uh, especially during the budget hearings, will always have a mark in my in my history. And uh, again, um, I would like to re resign, uh, of course, to give the new leadership a free hand in reorganizing um, the Senate leadership. But uh, again, I would like to say that I will always be proud to be part of this institu institution and proud to have been part of the leadership under Senate President Meigs, who really was a very productive team. And thank you very much also to the Senate staff for your cooperation in that, at the times that uh, we were on the floor. Again, uh, to the new leadership of uh, under Senator Chis, uh, good luck to your team. And you can always... Uh, Count on us to be there, no, as the as the center of the republic. Thank you very much to our hardworking deputy majority leader. Thank you very Senator much, Madam President. Madam President, at this juncture, may I move that we recognize the distinguished gentleman from uh, City of Taguig and Pateros, no other than Senator Alan Peter Cayetano. Senator so, Alan Peter Cayetano is recognized. Thank you, Majority Leader. Thank you, uh, Presiding Officer, our Senate President Pro Tem. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Yan po ang nasa Jeremiah 29.11, at maging Kristiyano, Hudyo, Muslim, ay nirerespeto si Jeremiah bilang isang propeta. At kahit naman hindi naging isang prophetic word to, Kung ang ina at ama ay mahal ang kanilang anak, ano pa kaya ang Diyos na naglikha sa atin? But if you look at the verse, I have plans for you. Plans are based on a vision. And plans become vision depending on the choices you make. And choices are defined by priorities. I am sure that all of us articulate it in a different way, but we try to honor God build communities, and transform this nation. Sa diwang yan, as I stand to nominate a person, I would like to nominate in my own personal way. In 1998, excited, konting kaba, o maraming kaba, um, with pride as the, the youngest member of the 11th Congress, I walked into the Batasan Pambansa at a historic moment where the first batch elected under the 1987 Constitution graduated and the first batch with the most number of neophytes took office. That is where I met Miguel Subiri and where I met Chis Escudero. So first, I think the Gratitude is shared not only by those who have supported the leadership and continue to want Senator Subiri to be the Senate President. I think tayo naman po lahat ay nagpapasalamat. So in behalf of uh, everyone, uh, Senate President Subiri, maraming maraming salamat. We are all, uh, we, we all have gratitude in our heart for the service that you've given. Siguro we can give him a hand. Uh, I know it's against the rules, pero... So in 1998, even then, Mig Subiri was much more fashionable than Cheese Escudero. Maybe now, uh, they're both fashionable. Uh, thank you, Migs, to your uh, beautiful wife, who's not only caring, who's not only supported you, who's not only raised your children, but made sure that you are fashionable. So we'd also like to thank her for sharing you with us these last two years. Thank you very much. So in 1998, Cheese had thick glasses 
did not smile, was the illustrious son of an uh, illustrious father. Uh, everyone knew the Minister of Agriculture. He had more fashion than she's known. Makikita mo lahat ng barong niya, may red, blue, and white. And yung isang legacy ng tatay niya was Cheese wanted to enter politics earlier than 1998. Pero his father, very much like Senator Pia's father, believed in education. Yun ang nabasa ko sa dyaryo, but later on I found out yung nanay din pala. Yung nanay was also there telling Senate, a then Congressman Escudero, when he was yet law student Escudero, when he was yet attorney Escudero, you cannot enter politics unless you prepare, prepare, prepare. So all of his previous attempts at different positions from the local government, hindi siya pinayagan until his parents believed na hinug na yung panahon. And in 1998, his career started. Hindi ko na po isa-isahin dahil napakahaba pa ho ng uh, oras from 1998 to ngayon na 2024 na. But I'd like to mention that when we say prepare, 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 Obviously, I did not support him in 2016 because I was running against him. If you look at history, 101% ang support ako kay Senator Escudero, like when he was minority leader in the many battles, impeachments, uh, fight against unjust taxes, etc. But if you look at history, marami din sa atin, and this is not only kay Senator Escudero, even with Senator, Senate President Subiri. There were times na bumbu yung suporta, there were times na hindi kami magkapanig, may time na nagdidibate, sometimes you even lose your cool, but the friendship and relationship remained. So what I am trying to say is that ang kulang na lang kay Cheese non para sabihin nating handa siya sa third highest position sa ating bansa na handa siya na ilid ang 24 senador is probably executive uh, experience. Kasi from three terms sa Kongreso, pangatlong term na rin ito bilang senador, lahat na pinagdaanan niya, uh, judicial, quasi-judicial, administrative, legislative, uh, ang kulang lang talaga po niya, executive um, experience. But of course, as a lawyer, and, and in between his other jobs, he had a lot of leadership experience. But as governor of Sorsogon, and he reminds people, it is not as rich as uh, the top five richest cities or top five richest provinces, province in the country. But yet, if you take a look at a short three years, again, hindi ko papakabaan, pero napakarami pong accomplishments, napakarami pong ginawa. And the hope I have is that whatever hindered him in doing more in the province of Sorsogon, he will address that as Senate President. For example, the bureaucracy, lahat na lang kailangan, mayor, governor, pirmahin, uh, parating pagka magdadagdag ng tax national, yung local, gustong bawasan, so forth and so on. No? So I just ask people, if you're watching now, i-Google nyo na lang si Chis Escudero. Kung hindi kayo naniniwala sa akin, i-Google nyo yung picture niya noong 1998 at i-Google nyo. So we have a very passionate leader. We have a very passionate leader. But we also have a very prepared leader kung magkakaisa tayo at sana po'y magkaisa tayo. So Madam uh, Senate President, Madam Chair, may I, with all humility but with pride, nominate someone I respect, I admire, and look forward to. Uh, I look forward to him being our leader, and I look forward that I will be able to contribute and do my part. May I respectfully and humbly nominate Francis Cheese Escudero as Senate President uh, this afternoon. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you very much, um, Senator Alan Peter Cayetano. We take note of your nomination of Senate President Francis Cheese Escudero. May I hear from the Deputy Majority Leader, Mark Villar? 
Yes, may I hear the motion of the acting majority leader? Uh, I move to recognize Senator Jingo Estrada. Uh, uh, can you please speak louder? Sorry. Um, I move yes. to recognize Senator Jingo Estrada. Oh, uh, is that a uh, another motion for no. nomination? I move that we close the period of nomination. Madam yes. Uh, we take note of the nomination. Uh, thank you. And the period of nomination for the Senate president is now closed. Hearing no objection. Hearing none. The motion for nomination of the Senate president of the Philippine Senate is now closed. May we hear a motion from the acting majority leader, Senator Mark Villar. With the permission of uh, Senator Villar, uh, since there are no objections and there's only one candidate, I move that we elect Senator Escudero by acclamation uh, and that the uh, chair, Bang de Gavel, symboling that we elect Senator uh, Escudero as our new Senate President. Thank you, Madam Chair. Any objections? Hearing none. The election of Senate President Francis Chis Escudero is hereby recognized. Congratulations, Senator Francis Chis Escudero. Madam Chair, may I ask for a minute suspension so that we can prepare and Senator Escudero, may we ask and request Senator Escudero to take his oath as Senate President. Session is suspended. Just to remind the body, this representation has not yet tendered her resignation unless you want to keep me, but I have a prepared resignation as well. So I intend to go down and deliver my resignation as well. Yeah. Unless you want to keep me here. <laughs> Senator Luis Antiveros, who will lead us in prayer. You are recognized, ma'am. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The prayer of Archbishop Oscar Romero. It helps now and then to step back and take the long view. The kingdom is not only beyond our efforts, it is even beyond our vision. We accomplish in our lifetime only a tiny fraction of the magnificent enterprise that is God's work. Nothing we do is complete, which is another way of saying that the kingdom always lies beyond us. No statement says all that should be said. No prayer fully expresses our faith. No confession brings perfection. No pastoral visit brings wholeness. No program accomplishes the church's mission. No set of goals and objectives includes everything. This is what we are about. We plant the seeds that one day will grow. We water seeds already planted, knowing that they hold future promise. We lay foundations that will need further development. We provide yeast that produces effects far beyond our capabilities. We cannot do everything. And there is a sense of liberation in realizing that. This enables us to do something, and to do it very well. It may be incomplete, but it is a beginning, a step along the way, an opportunity for the Lord's grace to enter and do the rest. We may never see the end results, but that is the difference between the master builder and the worker. We are workers, not master builders, ministers, not messiahs. We are prophets of a future that is not our own. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Secretary General is directed to um, call the roll of members. Roll call of members. The Honorable Senator Angara, Senator Binay, Senator Cayetano Alan, Senator Cayetano Pia, Senator De La Rosa, Senator Ejercito, Senator Estrada, Senator Gachalian, Senator Go, Senator Antiveros, Senator Lapid, Senator Legarda, Senator Marcos, Senator Padilla, Senator Pimentel, Senator Poe, Senator Rivilla. Senator Rivilla present. Senator Torrentino, Senator Tulfo, Senator Villanueva, Senator Villar, Mark, Senator Villar, Cynthia, Senator Zubiri, the Senate President. With 21 senators physically present and one senator virtually present for a total of 22 senators, Chair hereby declares the presence of a quorum. Majority Leader. Mr. President, 
before we proceed with the reference of business, Mr. President, since this uh, involves a, a, a matter of constitutional significance, Mr. President, and with the consent of the body, and pursuant to Section 18, Article 6 of the 1987 Constitution, I move to elect Senator Miguel Mick Zubiri, our statesman, as a member of the Commission on Appointments. I so move, Mr. President. Is there any objection? Hearing none, same as approved. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that we proceed with the reference of business. Is, is President, there? if I may, Mr. President, um, if I may, may I be recognized? Mr. Senator, Senator Villanueva is recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. President, with the indulgence of our uh, Majority Leader and our distinguished colleagues. Mr. President, in today's agenda, um, the order of business for today's session includes the referral of bills and resolutions to the different committees that exercises jurisdiction of uh, all these bills and measures, Mr. President, as uh, uh, recognized by our rules in Rule 10, Section 13 of our rules. Uh, yun po yung primary consideration in determining the referral. May I remind the body, Mr. President, that the leadership of various committees are currently vacant in view of yesterday's resignations. In fact, there are at least five, six committees na wala po nga chairmanship. And I would just like again to remind the body, and I'm not raising a point of order, Mr. President, just to be clarified, uh, in Rule 18, Section uh, 50 of our rules, it provides you, Mr. President, that the matters mentioned dun po sa order of business, which have to be acted upon by the Senate, shall be referred to the proper committee. Nakalagay po dyan, and I quote, which have to be acted upon. Eh, Mr. President, how can the body act on these uh, particular measures in light of uh, these vacancies? I just want to be clarified, Mr. President. I assure the good gentleman from Bulacan that we will be able to fully organize the Senate by tomorrow. As he very well knows, it usually takes the Senate one to two weeks to organize the Senate after um, a new Congress is um, elected. In fact, we are only given two days, especially given the resignation of the chairpersons of those committees, since those that we um, replaced yesterday. We did not expect and we were not aware of those resignations, so um, we would have thought that that would have continued until their replacements would have been elected by the body. But given the resignations yesterday, which we fully um, understand and accept, and the body accepted, um, we will try to do the job within um, today or tomorrow, before we adjourn, so that the committees can conduct hearings during the recess. I understand, Mr. President, and I appreciate the uh, explanation being given to this representation by our uh, uh, newly elected Senate President. Uh, may I just know, Mr. President, if we are not violating Section 18 of our uh, uh, rule 18, section 50 of our rules, because as I was uh, uh, talking, Mr. President, with our colleagues here, S Senator Amy Marcos, we were we were we were discussing, Mr. President, as to the uh, election of not just members of the committees, but also the if if the, those who resigned, Mr. President, including this representation, uh, opted to join the minority, for instance, then the the uh, the ratio of uh, representation in the different committees will also change, uh, Mr. President. Is that correct, Mr. President? Definitely, Your Honor, which is, uh, which is why, again, the memberships in the committees would be a moving target depending on the affiliation to be decided upon by the members of the Senate. And so, Mr. President, despite the fact that there are no committee chairmanships, uh, no official uh, membership in the committees, we can proceed. Uh, is that the uh, ruling of the chair? We can proceed with the... To refer? Yes, to refer. Yes, um, yes, Your Honor, we can. For the simple reason that even if we refer them today, a hearing needs to be, notice should be given before hearing can be conducted. If we can reorganize by tomorrow, then it would not have caused even a single day's delay. Thank you, Mr. President, for that clarification. Appreciate it. Thank you, Your Honor. And um, if you do not do that now, Your Honor, um, pag wala po tayong session, hindi tayo makaka-refer sa mga committee, mas malaking sayang na oras. So habang may... Um, plenary session, ma-refer po natin sa mga committee, mga nakabinbina. And, and that's exactly my point, Mr. President, that I, 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 I perhaps uh, wanted to emphasize even more what the Rule 18, Section 50 says, which have to be acted upon by the Senate. And that's why I understand, Mr. President, if we can uh, fast-track the, uh, the uh, 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 um, pagbuo, Mr. President, ng ating uh, mga committee. And uh, considering also, Mr. President, uh, we have to talk about the membership, which is quite uh, I know, a daunting task, Mr. President. Thank you. Again, for Senate Bill 2593. I so move, Mr. President. There being no objection, we ask the Secretary to read the title of the measure. Proceed with the roll call vote. An act revising Republic Act Number 9184, otherwise known as the Government Procurement Reform Act, and for other purposes. Roll call vote. The Honorable Senator Angara. Yes. Senator Binay. Senator Cayetano Alan. 
Senator Cayetano Pia, Senator De La Rosa, Senator Ejercito, Senator Estrada, Senator Gachalian, Senator Go, Senator Ontiveros, Senator Lapid, Senator Legarda, Senator Marcos, Senator Padilla, Senator Pimentel, Senator Poe, Senator Rivilla. Yes. Senator Tolentino. Yes. Senator Tulfo. Yes. Senator Villanueva. Yes. Mr. President. Senator Very sounding yes. Senator Villar Cynthia. Senator Villar Mark. Senator Zubiri. Yes, na yes. The Senate President. Yes. With 23 affirmative votes, zero negative votes, zero abstentions, Senate Bill number 2593 is approved on third reading. Congratulations to the sponsor, Senator Angara, and to all the authors. Thank you, Mr. President. Senate. Majority Leader. Majority Leader, Mr. President. May I just uh, insert my explanation of vote and thank our colleagues and all the resource persons because there were so many people who worked on this bill, but I want to mention them, but all my saliva has dried up and I'd like to just insert it into the record, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. We take so note of the manifestation of the good sponsor. And I believe you want to proceed with the ratification of the bill that I authored on the Sharia court? Yes, Mr. President. With the permission again of Senator, the Senate President. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Mr. President. But before we proceed to the other administrative matters, the Honorable Senator Grace Po would like to have her guests acknowledged today in the gallery, students from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, as well as uh, Mr. Chris Tan. Mr. President, we are in, in receipt of a bicameral conference committee report on the disagreeing provisions votes of House Bill Number 7398. This is the bill on the Southern Luzon State University, Katanawan Campus, College of Veterinary Medicine, Katanawan, Quezon. With the permission of the body, may, may we recognize the chairperson of the Senate panel, the Senate President Francis Escudero, to give us the highlights of the conference committee report. Yes, our former chairman of the Committee on Higher Education, now Senate President, Senate President Escudero is recognized. May I ask the explanation, to abbreviate the proceedings, Mr. President, may I ask that the explanation be inserted into the records for brevity of the proceedings? I so move, Mr. President. There being objection to the motion of the Senate President, uh, yes. The gentleman from Cagayan de Oro, our minority leaders, recognized. Let's not uh, start uh, that practice, Mr. President. Let us have uh, uh, reports on the BICAM uh, committee proceedings, Mr. President. Kasi hindi naman kami lahat makasunod doon, Mr. President. Yes, I see an, uh, an affirmative reaction from the sponsor. We recognize our distinguished Senate President, Senate President Escudero, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, with the permission of the majority leader, and as um, commanded by our minority floor leader, um, may I place on the record the conference committee the, the, the joint explanatory statement on the disagreeing provisions of um, House Bill Number 7398. Um, number one, the conferees agreed to adopt House Bill Number 7398 as amended by the Senate as the working draft of the bicameral meeting. Number two, Section 1 of HBN 7398 as amended by the Senate was adopted by both houses in Section 1 of the Reconciled Bill, but but to change all references to Katanawan to Chaung. Number um, three, Section 2 of House Bill Number 7398 as amended by the Senate was adopted by both houses as Section 2 of the Reconciled Bill, but to change reference to Katanawan from Katanawan to Chaung. Basically, Mr. President, Your Honor, we are simply changing the location of the veterinary um, veterinary medicine campus from Katanawan to Chaung. Ang laman po ng lahat ng bill pareho na maliban sa lugar. Dahil uh, matapos mag-hearing, nag yung mga lokal doon, particular ang mga official doon na mas bagay at kailangan sa um, town. Lahat po ng ibang parte ng bill pareho na. I hope that satisfies our minority leader. Yes, our minority floor leader is right. Mr. President, so, sa pagkakaintindi ko bali, uh, nang nangyari sa BICAM, lumipat ang location ng veterinary school. So isn't this the essence or uh, precisely of the bill, Mr. President? We are establishing a veterinary, veterinary school in location X. Dito natin diniscuss sa pinasa natin, location X. Ang report ngayon ng BICAM Conference Committee, it's in location Y. So doesn't that change everything, Mr. President? Mr. President, Your Honor, as the good gentleman very well knows, um, sometimes anything and everything happens in the BICAM, especially um, in, with the budget um, bill. But Mr. President, it is the position of this representation that um, the subject matter of the bill is the establishment of a veterinary school. Um, in this case, in a particular town in the province of Quezon. We are not changing, we can say that it's a veterinary school in the province of Quezon. 
I would tend to agree with the good gentleman if um, we would uh, establish the veterinary school all of a sudden in Cebu from a town in Quezon. But this is merely moving it from one town to another instead of uh, Mr. President um, still retaining it there and um, perhaps creating more problems after belated input from the locals there. This is a physical school, Mr. President. Yeah. Physical. Hindi pa po so, ginagawa. Gagawin yes, I know. But it's uh, to be physical locate, physically located in a certain place. So pro location X deals with a different LGU. Location Y, although in the same legislative district, involves another LGU. So yung mga basic tanong natin sa committee level or dito sa plenary, what was the position of the LGU? What was the position of any other official? Baka magbago, eh, Mr. President. So this Mr. is not the same thing. This is not... This is not a defense of the Senate version, Mr. President. Buti sana kung paiba may konting uh, yung administrative ano doon, yung oh, sino official doon, but nagbago po ng location eh. We do not even know what is the position of the LGU in the new location. Impossible. One never natin natanong, Mr. President. Mr. President, Your Honor, this is a local bill. And my assumption is the member of um, Congress and the localities of the House and the local government units there would be in a better position than we are. And let me reiterate, Mr. President, with our due um, request to, um, and begging the indulgence of the good minority leader, that it is the same province. And I would agree with him, as I said. If we were transferring it to a totally different province altogether or a totally different region altogether, I do not know how far Katanawan is from Quezon, but um, it is in the same province, Mr. President. And my interpretation, as I said, of this bill, given that I'm the principal sponsor, is that the main subject of the bill is the establishment of a veterinary school and secondarily, in the province of Quezon, and, third, and if at all, on a third note, within the municipality of Quezon, and now in, 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 in the municipality of Catanawan, and now Chao. May I request for one minute suspension? Yes, to make a, an interjection yeah. relative yes, to the matter at hand. Our distinguished colleague from Iloilo, Pangasinan, and San Juan, Senator Grace Postman. Yeah, to my uh, former uh, favorite and consensus builder, Senate President. Um, uh, it, it's, a, it's very sentimental to see you there, actually. I... I uh, Thank you, ma'am. I'm very grateful. Anyway, you, um, Mr. President, when uh, Senate President Soto was our Senate President at the time, I remember uh, Del Monte Avenue was going to be renamed FPJ Avenue. But, set, but because of some issues, we approved, we agreed here, and then it was adopted in the House, to change it and move it to Roosevelt Avenue, which is a totally different area. Now, I know the scale is different because it's just renaming a street. On the other hand, if you want to think about the local government also, eh, iba naman barangay din yon. number one. Number two, iba rin ang, ang layout at ang karsada at kung ilang street signs ang ilalagay. So, in short, uh, it's, the it, it's the principle behind making certain adjustments, but... Uh, the intention is there, which is actually renaming. That, that, that's just my two cents, and I know it's not a perfect uh, analogy or example, but it's sort of related. If we can get additional facts, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Was this change made after BICAM or during BICAM? Um, during the lawmaking process, right? Uh, it was during.